mga hinigugma diha ni Kristo. For many of us, perhaps, this day is just an ordinary day. One of the days in the octave of Easter, yes. But because of COVID-19, we're still in a lockdown, in a community quarantine, and we still practice social distancing. And yet, when we think of 500YOC, today is most significant. Because in terms of countdown today, April 14, 2020, is exactly one year towards April 14, 2021, the celebration of the fifth centenary of the first baptism here in Cebu. Mga hinigugma diha ni Kristo, when we recall the first baptism, and I know we have seen paintings of Amor Solo of that first baptism, then we can recall how King Humabon was baptized in the morning and Queen Humamai was baptized in the afternoon. King Humabon was named Carlos and Queen Humamai was named Juana. And then follows also the baptism of around 700 of their people. My dear friends, we also know that during that baptism, Queen Juana was gifted with the image of the Senor Santo Nino. And we know the impact of that gift. We can say that Queen Juana was the first devotee of the Senor Santo Nino, so close as well to our hearts. Mga Hinigugma, as we draw close to April 14, 2021, we will have ample time to reflect, to journey the past 500 years and know how our sisters and brothers, Filipinos who were baptized, collaborated with the missionaries, and then we know Augustinians, Recollects, Franciscans, Jesuits, Dominicans, and many more, and how they eventually built churches, accepted the other sacraments, practiced the devotions, and uncertainly built such a beautiful relationship among sisters and brothers as a result of, of baptism. Dear friends, for the moment, allow me just to invite you to reflect on the value of this gift of baptism and the gift of faith. And if we just think for the moment that today, among around 200 countries, Philippines rank number three in terms of number of Catholics. Brazil, Mexico, Philippines. Wow, what a great gift for us. My dear friends, I know that even as we thank the Lord for that gift. Today, I just would like to invite all of us to reflect on the significance and our dignity of having been baptized. And of course, and of our responsibility because of such a gift. Allow me to tell a beautiful story, a story you might have heard but, but to me, it reflects how people value this sacrament. It was said of King Louis of France. One time he was asked why 
whenever he signs documents, he would put Louis of Poise. And people ask, Your Highness, why do you put Louis of Poise? And, and what's Poise? The saintly king said, People thought that my highest dignity is to become the king of France. It is a high dignity. But Peter, personally, I, I would like to think that my highest dignity was not when I was crowned king of France, and that happened in the Cathedral of Notre Dame. To me, my highest, highest dignity was when I was baptized, and it happened in the little city of Poise. And that's why he signs Louis of Poise. And then he continues, you see, when I am king, my kingdom will end. I mean, my being king will end when I die. But upon my baptism, I become a child of God. And I will remain a child of God both here and in the life beyond. What a beautiful testimony to the importance, to the dignity of, of being baptized. M my dear friends, I know that uh, in, in Facebook, F Father Andrea, our director of the youth, put a challenge. Uh, do, do you know? Of course, you know your birthday. No? But do you know the date you were baptized? The idea is, of, of course, when we were born, we were born and we are children of our parents. But during baptism, we became children of God. And that's why part of the ritual, an important aspect of the ritual is after we had been baptized with water and anointed with chrism, and of course given the, the light, the priest would say, this child has become a child of God. Indeed, he or she is. He has become a member of the church. And he will receive eventually the fullness of the Spirit in confirmation. And he will participate in the banquet of the Lord in the Eucharist. And then the, the minister says, As a child of God, in the name of this child, I should say, we gathered here, we shall now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. It's like saying, in the name of this child, you has become a child of God. Together, we pray the Our Father. A beautiful reminder of what happened. And so I go back to the challenge. I, I hope that we take time, of course, uh, to know. We know our birthday, of course, no? but to know when were we baptized. Do you know the priest who baptized you? I, I think you know your ninang, no? Because you, your ninang, because you approach them during Christmas, you know, for gifts. But but it would be good to know, really, no? the date the priest who baptized you. Uh, I recall the priest who baptized me take so much joy when I introduce him to people, like when he came for my. I should say, introduction as Bishop of Cebu, I told his eminence Cardinal Vidal. Eminence, this is Monsignor Jose Buenaflor, the priest who baptized me. And I was baptized April 22. Of course, I was born March 19. You know. And then Monsignor has such a big smile, you know. And he said, yes, eminence. And you know, I was assigned in the parish of Father Joe, Bishop Joe, when I was transferred to another parish. He also baptized his cousin. He also became a priest, you know. Wow, such a big smile. No? And of course, I recall my Ninong. I have only one Ninong, one Ninong. No? But I will never forget, he lives in our barangay. And every time I come and see him, you know, he will, he will say then when I was a seminarian, who say, I pray that you will become a priest. And indeed, I know, must be God's gift to me because of the prayer of, of good people. He was a good farmer. His children have all gone to school. 
because of hard work and I think dedication and prayer. And so, just for today, you know, as an exercise, would you care to know the date you were baptized? Because I repeat, when we were born, we are children of our parents. Of course, we continue to be their children. But when we were baptized, we became children of God. And I think now we understand better our, our dignity. And so, my dear friends, as we journey towards April 14, 2021, I pray with you that we grow in our gratitude, in our appreciation of having been baptized, the gift of faith. And as our theme would invite us, gifted to give. Because we're gifted with this faith, may we also share that faith. I do believe when we would have shared, as so many of our sisters and brothers are doing now, when we would have shared our experience of being devotees of the Santo Nino, this Batu Balani is a gogma. If you have shared about experience in having experienced the love and mercy of God, then we know that indeed this is because of the life of grace we have received in baptism. And now we have tried to live out that life. May the Lord continue to bless us with a faith that has grown lived out and shared. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For more updates on our activities and preparations for the fifth Christianization of the Philippines, please like, follow, share at 500YOC Cebu.